save he that had the mark or the name of the the name of the um, of the beast. It's a new new movie coming out, okay, in March of 2011. Three eleven again. The whole month of March, I think, is significant here. Three eleven. Uh, we've talked about that last week. March 2011. We have a new movie coming out called Beastly. Here's the trailer. Take a look. Stay unattractive outside as you are inside. My dad stuck me in this house so no one could see me. Who are you? Mary Poppins. The tutor? Don't worry, I can't actually see. Welcome to hell. Nice to meet you. They hated me. Please make this go away. I learned my lesson. You learned nothing. Find someone who can see better than you can. Give me your money. Stay away. What's with the mask? I didn't want to freak you out. Sure. The ski mask didn't freak me out. Why am I here? Because you need to be protected. I need a thing Lindy will like. She will like it when you are being yourself. What, this off? With the jerk it was. The man I know you to be. So are we ever gonna, like, really meet? Pretty gruesome, huh? I've seen worse. I'm gonna build her a greenhouse. She's very into roses. This rocks. Thought I'd take the ugly thing and turn it into something not. Do you want to go somewhere with me? I need more time. I might have a shot if I have more time. Can't. Sorry. You were the most beautiful man I have ever met. Uh, you remember from our teaching on the Da Vinci Code uh, that one of the grandmasters of the Priory of Zion, a man by the name of Jean Cocteau, uh, he, was, uh, he was a lot of things, uh, but he made a film uh, that he implanted or embedded the secret doctrine in, the union of the male and the female, the beast and, and Isis coming together, the, uh, the Antichrist and the sacred feminine joining together. This is the beast and the woman riding the beast. Uh, and so he made a movie called Beauty and the Beast. Disney picked up on this saying, enhanced it for your viewing pleasure. And I want you to notice the symbol of the rose being very, very prominent in this movie. Uh, the phrase sub rosa means something that is done in secret. Remember Babylon and everything that she represents is sub rosa because she is mystery Babylon and everything she does and everything that she works is secret it's underground it's kept hidden it's covered and that's what the symbolism behind this that this new movie Beastly is simply a retelling of the idea of beauty and the beast where watch this now where the beast is going to be transformed by by who by by Bell, by the woman, the sacred feminine, mystery, Babylon the Great, the um, Roman Catholic Church, and you see this in maybe a lot of other types of Gothic style churches, they have this big massive circular window <clears throat> near the top of these churches. This is called a rose window. It represents sub rosa. It tells you that everything that happens underneath the eye of this window is sub rosa. Clearly, the Roman Catholic system is sub rosa in that it operates in mysteries and in secrets. This is why the Roman Catholics do not want you to have, and the Jesuit powers and the Vatican itself and the spirit behind them, they do not want you to have a King James Bible. They tried to de they tried to defeat it before it ever came out. They've tried to pervert it since then, and now, now what they've done is they've done a really good job of replacing it. Oh, we don't use the King James, but we do use the new King James with the little Triketra Isis symbol on it. Uh, that's, that's almost the same thing. That's almost just as good as the King James. So they get rid of the real Bible and start out with something that's close to it. And then you move on into the NIV. By the way, the NIV, the publisher, Zondervan, said uh, we're not going to continue with the NIV anymore. We're going to launch toward the, the, the 
to to today's new international version, uh, which is the gender neutral Bible. That's the one we're going to push, but we're not going to tell everybody that's what we're doing. But that's what they're doing. Everything about them is sub rosa. You have uh, the you have the Roslyn Chapel, the Roseline Chapel, built by uh, the Scottish uh, Knights Templar. Uh, there in Scotland, and and all throughout the ceiling, you have these roses everywhere. That indicates uh, sub rosa. Um, let's go back to Revelation 17. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet, that's red, rose-colored beast, uh, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and abominations of the earth. Now I want you to get this idea of the beast and the harlot coming together. The sons of God and the daughters of men joining together. This is like the exact opposite of Christ and the church. Notice that they called her Mystery Babylon. So that, let's study that word mystery just for a second. In Ephesians chapter 5, For we are members of his body, of his flesh. Stop right here. Because remember, Mystery Babylon is trying to reconnect the body. Reconnect. Think of all these churches and these church programs called Connect. We gotta gotta connect everybody. That's Mystery Babylon. She's trying to connect every get everybody joined in. She's the one connecting the body. That's the exact opposite of Christ. Christ is the head of the body. And he brings them all into himself. He doesn't need us to do it for him. He does it himself. He, the whole body is joined together by the head, Ephesians says. And so get this idea. We are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father, that's Jesus, and mother, that's heaven, and shall be joined unto his wife, that's the church, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. Now, the word church mentioned 77 times in the King James Bible. Um, in Luke chapter 3, oh, I love this. In Luke chapter 3, we have the lineage of Christ given, starting with Jesus, going backwards, tracing his lineage all the way through Adam to God. 77 people from Jesus to God. It's the lineage. So here we have Christ, the 77 lineage. He is the Son of God. We have the church mentioned 77 times in the King James Bible. And they're joined together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, just stop and think about the magnificence of this Bible and what it's trying to teach you so that when you see... The Pentagon ritual we talked about in the Babel conspiracy. The Pentagon. Why the Pentagon? Because it, it enacted, here you have this jet or this missile. I don't know, it wasn't there. You have one of these things. It's a symbol of a male going into the symbol of the female, which is the Pentagon. She's the altar. And it's called the Great Rite Ritual. The airplane, supposedly, that went into this building was Flight 77. The Pentagon stands exactly 77 feet tall. Right in front of our very eyes. It invoked the power of Satan on this earth. And everything that we see going on right now is a result of what happened September 11th, 2001. And our understanding.